Hey everyone, welcome to the forecast reading. If you don't know what this is about, you can go ahead and check the earlier 2018th readings that will get to explain to you what this is all about. Okay? So, with that being said, we are going to proceed to the forecast reading. Hello, folks! Well, how are you? We are already into December. Crazy! A whole year has passed. How was this 2018th for you guys? We indeed had a very long, intense time, and it has been amazing to be able to share all of this insight with you guys. I am very happy to do so. How is that Mercury retrograde going? As you guys know, we are still under Mercury retrograde, and while I talk, you know, we are going to start to shuffle in here the cards, okay? So, this Mercury retrograde has been quite interesting because uh, it felt to me that for those who have been investing their time, working their ways, and finding accomplishment in their lives, this Mercury retrograde has been not as intense as other Mercury retrogrades, and it went alongside with the forecast we did last, last month, okay? So, this one, it feels to me, um, it feels to me the energy is very clean, very new, for some reason. So, let's see what, what message comes up here. Okay, so, the first card is the Prince of Pentacles. Okay, and the Prince of Pentacles, the first message that the Prince of Pentacles is sharing, it's that uh, during the month of December, it's not going to be a great month to make uh, a lot of investments. And with investments, I mean financially, I mean energetically, I mean at a personal level. It feels to me that December, it's a month for collecting even further, okay, and regrouping, reassigning your ideas, your thoughts. It feels to me that December is asking to us to go ahead into deeper introspection, to go ahead into realizing what we are truly holding on to. Okay, because it's not about releasing everything we are holding to. It's about making an analysis of what we are holding and why and how much it serves us a purpose. This is why December is not good for evolving. It feels greater for reanalyzing your life and maybe even releasing things. But it is neither a month of release as others. It is more a month for you to notice maybe what you need to bring closer into your life and what you need to push away or to even clear, okay? Also, make sure during this month, in terms of relationships, friendships, family, acquaintances, love, that there is a positive flow of energy. If there is any block of energy or if there is any problem and the other person seems to be stubborn about it, you want to talk to the person and bring, you know, that stubbornness down, to bring understanding, to bring balance. Because it feels to me that this is for everyone, okay? And it might be that person is holding on to an idea, reason why the person is stubborn. So it's very important to do self-analysis and to really see what is great for you to hold on to and what is not so great and you want to release, okay? Let's go ahead and let's see what's the next card here. So quite nice, it's a Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles, you know, it kind of continues to validate what I've been sharing with all of you. It validates the fact that in this month you are meant to, more than harvesting, because even harvesting creates an effort, creates an energetic investment. Right now it's realization, it's after the harvesting, okay? And it's very symbolic that it is at the end of the year, you know, because this year has been like really intense in many ways. If, you, if you've been following me from the very first forecast, you know, and this Six of Pentacles represents reaching to the goal, reaching to a point where you have already planned your things to, to grow. You have seeded, you have taken care, then you have harvested. And right now, you are looking at your harvest and you're saying, oh, I am so happy, you know. So it's very important that you notice that this month is also for self-realization of all the accomplishments that you have done. And even rewarding yourself to any extent you can, saying thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that I have done this year, for all the energetic investment, 
for all the effort that I have added. You want to be grateful. You want to find gratitude in your heart because of you. Okay, now it's out of because of you. Already last month was about that, but now it's further. It's a further realization of understanding that you have reached to a goal that you are now meant to enjoy. You are meant to collect your abundances. You are meant to collect all the efforts that you have been investing so far this year. And you're going to enjoy it lots. It's going to be a good month in terms of energetic synergy for you to be able to reach to your accomplishments. And for you to be able to make sure that you do not miss any of the good things that you have done. And again, you might notice still that you are holding onto something that doesn't serve your purpose and it will be easy for you to release it, okay? At this point, it will be easy for you to release it because it won't be major things, okay? And in this stage, you're going to also have it easy because out of your accomplishments, releasing whatever is left, if anything, it's going to be much, much simpler. Now, the next card is the Four of Swords. Okay. So the Four of Swords is advising that right now, as you go through this, it's time for you to reanalyze and to re-understand all of your tools, all of your gains, even all of your new connections that you have that would serve you a purpose to go forward. But it's a moment of analysis, a moment of observing, observing all of those tools that I've been sharing with you, observing all of those benefits that you have gained, and observing that people it's, that it's around you, that it's to bring you growth and to bring you expansion. It's time to observe while you are relaxing. So definitely this is not a month to do a lot of progress, to do a lot of new things. It is a month to, uh, you know, lay back and, and relax a little bit. Obviously, this applies if you have been following every forecast and you have been doing as the Spirit has been guiding, okay? Because it might be that you are still under a lot of struggle and difficulties. You will have to address those. But if you have been following and doing that, this year, right now, it's about saying, okay, I have gained this, I have gained that, I have connected with this person, with that person, with that other person, and I have all of these tools. And then it's like you can lay back and say, ah, oh, I am glad. I have done a fabulous job this year. I have progressed a lot mentally, emotionally, spiritually, personally, and I am so grateful and so happy that this has been a reality. That's the focus that you want to have. That's the awareness that you need, okay, and to be prepared to also have the intention for you to be prepared for a continuous growth for, you know, next month, possibly, for new growth, new opportunities to keep going. So right now, relax, enjoy, you know, and definitely uh, make sure that you're aware of all of your accomplishments, of everything that you have been doing. And also, it's going to happen that you are going to notice connections with people becoming more authentic. With those, it has to be. and. Somehow, those new progresses are going to be acknowledged in their very own relationship. So it's going to make the relationships better as well in general. And it's a good moment to acknowledge that and to be grateful for having such great connections. So as you can see, not a very intense month, this one, but a good month to, to reward ourselves. So make sure you do that. I want to wish you, you guys have a wonderful month of December, a wonderful end of the year, and see you next year.